Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I want to look at my old firefighter truck from over two years ago and my new firefighter truck that I've just created last week. So it is a big difference but it's also not a big difference in a sense that even the old one is still useful and gets the job done and all that good stuff but my new one is just that much more refined so I will explain to you the differences as we take a look and we kind of go down memory lane and look at one of my older creations in fact the gtc g1 which is obviously based on a hummer was my first truck i have ever made my first um like consumer vehicle i did make one truck before that that was a semi truck this was my first car and one thing i gotta say even now i do love the size of it i just find it is such a good size to transport on a plane or on a boat it's a very useful and compacted size the gtc i mean like take a look at it comparing it with the buckle um, rodeo truck which is based on a silverado obviously if you guys know the american market so the size is fairly substantial the size difference and i do want to explore i will tell you guys right now hint hint wink wink i will leak this information i will explore making a smaller sized truck in the buckle lineup that is just like the g1 because it's just such a useful size that said the rodeo has become kind of my de facto standard almost all of my organizations from oma alta including consumer versions use the rodeo it's just kind of your standard pickup truck and obviously the size is conducive to the amount of microcontrollers inside it the g1 was not a very um, technologically advanced truck. So let's take a look. On the outside, you know, I do like the lights. I do like how it looks. The color scheme's nice. Overall, it is a good unit. Like, I still think it's f good enough to compare the, these two side to side without the G1 look being that, more, that much outdated. Comparatively to, like, my older uh, truck, pickup truck lineups, those guys are very outdated. But this one holds its own you can see back here there's equipment you can actually get into the back which is not the point but works nonetheless there's a light sensor with a light inside a bunch of gear some seats for driving any survivors you may have picked up not the best place to sit but at least they're getting to safety and um, inside very compact sitting area but honestly gets the job done it does not have to be huge and that's something I learned here now it is manual, the transmission is not the greatest for driving, but again, it gets the job done and it's fairly robust as it is. Um, does have a GPS unit, does have a combination of dials and the displays, which is nice. They're all a decent color. If we turn on the light in here, you see that there is some kind of decor around here, all sorts of buttons. This one has a rear-wheel drive button, whereas that one has kind of a transfer case with a switch that you'll notice. Now what is funny here is you do see the water in the tank in the back, which I, I don't think I'd do that again. Um, and on the side here, we have a pumping unit just like what the other truck has. So here it's this as well as a pumping in function and on the roof. We actually have a cannon so this vehicle will actually be able to fire the cannon if we turn it on here and you can move it up and down and side to side so that is convenient it's not the most realistic thing I don't think a vehicle this size would have a cannon on the roof but here it is and it works it's functional and it is pretty good now one thing that I do like that this truck has is the generator mode so if you press this button while in neutral it'll rev up and it'll just charge the battery up now that's because this truck is using a standard conventional engine meaning it is not a modular engine it's a pre-built one so if we get back here you'll see that it's just a standard small engine but it does have this generator mode which is useful and some gear all that good stuff now comparatively speaking to this guy if we hop in 
you see that this is a much more refined interior with display and lights that are advanced oh that's actually funny i forgot to show you the the lights and siren in this thing that was before mind you the new sirens came out so look listen to this and the lights are just uh that so fairly basic and the siren is kind of funny but here you actually have a nice siren with the yelp and the lights obviously are way better link is in the description of the, de the developer of the lights i did not make them but they are awesome and then obviously has performance mode to towing mode and cruise control all of which that other one does not have in here you'll find equipment behind the seat here's the transfer case i was talking about the pump in pump out function is similar obviously i do do don't like this text as much just basic text i like how i kind of stylized it here to fit into the single blocks so i do much prefer this system equipment is found all around including these fake kind of equipment storage areas there's six of these which the intention is if you damage them you can put it back and this one has this intake pipe which drops down whereas this one here on the other side or somewhere yeah sorry right here also activates a rear water pump to pump in from the ocean so back here somewhere there is a fluid port and you can actually pump in from the ocean the same way this one allows you to pump in from a lake or ocean except this one has a winch and kind of a system whereas the other one is just uh, built into the truck. Now that is the system I use in my off-road version just because it is a more robust system, but this one is easier to position into a lake, especially if you're not near a lake or not if you're at a higher elevation than the lake. So both systems work, both vehicles work, but there is some clear differences to what I've learned along the way and how I used to build versus how I build now and the type of things that I show. So thank you for joining. Hopefully you saw the differences. Let me know in the comments what you think of me building a new version of the G1 in buckle format just uh, with the new technology and let me know of any other things in the comments. I love reading them. Stay tuned for more creations, more videos, and as always, happy stormworksing.